Hey gang Zippo, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. It's 90 degrees out and I had decided to do something that I could have waited until it cooled down a bit to do, but it's Labor Day. I just felt like messing around. I'm sweating like a dog, but I don't know, my shirt's freaking drenched. But anyway, let me show you guys what I've been doing. Uh, I've had this for a while and just never uh, never did anything with it. Finally decided today, all right, we're going to get her done. So let's turn it around and take a look at Ugly Alice here. All right. Now why in the world is there a board strap down to Ugly Alice holding that wheel still? Well, I must need the other wheel to drive something. And it's not to drive the other wheel. So no, I'm not shucking walnuts, which is another way that you can use these tractors is to shuck walnuts. Um, I had this thing that uh, come from a buddy of mine out in Oregon, and boy, it sat for, I don't know, about a year, a little over a year. I decided to go ahead and get to it today because I got a really big pile here. I've got a regular log splitter right over there, but Ugly Alice is now a log splitter. And if you guys hang on a second, I'll grab my tripod, set things up, and show you this thing in action. Hang on. I gotta tell you guys, a pretty good sized shop, two stories, and that tiny little 5000 BTU air conditioner has it 18 degrees cooler inside the shop with just a loft that goes from about uh, here on back, eight and a half feet high. Just, yeah. I should be in there, not out here messing around with this. There it is. The stickler. So we're gonna start this thing up and shove that log into it and watch her do her thing. Here we go. There you go, there's the stickler mounted to a garden tractor. And it does just freaking awesome. I mean, I've split, sorry, split a little bit here. Uh, split three pieces about, well, about the same size as that one there. And uh, it's doing really well. I'm impressed. 
I'm surprised that it uh, held in. What I did uh, here was just put a jack stand down just to hold it still. It doesn't lift up off the jack stand at all. Uh, it's just working out really well. I do need to work on the tip of the stickler a little bit. Um, the very tip of it is broke off so I need to sharpen it so that it will grab the wood a little bit better. But other than that, it's a slow process. I mean, I'm certainly not going to abandon that guy. That one's that one's going to take care of most of the splitting. But this is just kind of a neat little novelty. Or if the log splitter breaks, the big log splitter breaks down. I'm not stuck without one. Oh, about fell over backwards. Thank goodness there's a tire right back here for me to <laughs> land on. Um, but anyway, there you have it. That's what Zippo's been doing today in this god awful heat hope everybody has a wonderful wonderful holiday Monday thank you to each and every one of our uh, servicemen and service women uh, being an eight-year Navy veteran myself um, I know all too well the sacrifices that are made and uh, it's important for us to remember them uh, on this day and I say them uh, I was never wartime um, I got out just before the Gulf War uh, had I had I not um, had I gone to the Gulf War uh, in the Navy obviously I'd have been on board a ship but uh, a very good friend of mine I call a brother who um, after he was done with his obligation with the Navy, went with the uh, National Guard and wound up getting deployed twice overseas and suffered uh, an explosion that killed him and they brought him back to life. He's still alive now. And um, But the PTSD uh, is a very devastating aff affliction that many of our servicemen are dealing with right now. So. Um, given your heart today for all those who've given their lives and have sacrificed life and limb for uh, for our country and for our freedoms. This is Zippo. Later. I'm out.